Hey guys, my name is Dean. Welcome to Manflow Yoga. You are about to watch a full length workout from my online members area here free on YouTube so you can check it out and see if it's a good fit for you. I encourage you to check out some of the links in the description if you want to learn more about Manflow Yoga or if you want to get started with a free beginners program. I have a seven day intro uh, which is free, no credit card required and it's an awesome way to get started in just about 15 minutes per day. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. We put out tons of workouts and content every week and I hope you enjoy this workout. Be sure to like it. Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manflow Yoga. Today's workout is called Warrior Twist. So I'm going to take you through a short but intense warrior flow, working on some warrior positions, doing some twisting, uh, working your spine, and hopefully just giving you a really nice energizing uh, boost with this flow. Um, I'm on a little bit of unsteady the ground, so if you notice me readjusting a lot, it's probably because there's rocks under my feet. All right, let's get going. We're gonna start off in a standing position, top of the mat on your right foot. Bring your left knee up to hip level. Stand up as tall as you can, and then push your left hand into your thigh, thigh back up into your hand. Squeeze your right glute as much as you possibly can. Really drive down through your foot and get as tall as you can, top of the head pressing up. Lift your right arm up and squeeze it back as far as you can. Spread your fingers wide, stretch your chest, but feel muscle engagement in the back of your right shoulder blade. One more breath here, drive up a little higher. And then release, switch sides, stand on your left foot. Bring your right knee up to hip level. Drive your right hand into your right thigh. Drive your right thigh up as high as you can. And again, squeeze your left glute, top of the head pressing up. Get really tall here. Make sure that left leg is totally straight. And then lift your left arm up. Squeeze it back as far as you can without arching your back. Come up a little bit taller. A couple more breaths here. This is part of the warm up. Really good for hips, really good for core, balance, ankles, knees, and even shoulders. And then release. From here, take it back into a runner's lunge. Squeeze your legs toward one another. Pull your chest forward and up. Allow your hips to sink into this. Pull your chin in toward your throat. And again, squeeze your legs toward one another. Really driving down through that right foot. Lift your left knee, so make sure you're squeezing that back thigh. Chest pulling up. And then reach your right arm up in the air. Left arm relaxes onto the ground. Just lightly holding there. Squeeze the right arm back as much as you can. Inhale to get taller. Exhale, twist more. Last breath. And then release your hand down. From here, take it up into a high lunge, reach up. And then stand up all the way. Toes can touch, heels an inch apart. Inhale up. Exhale, take a forward fold, bend your knees. Fingertips to the ground. Pedal your feet back and forth. Little breath here, or a little break here and a forward fold. Half lift, lengthen forward. Exhale, fold. All right, and then let's switch sides. Step your right leg back. Squeeze your legs toward one another. We're into a runner's lunge. Knee is over the ankle in the front foot. Allow your hips to sink into this. So go deep into this. You should feel a stretch as you're getting stronger. All right, so building strength and working into mobility. Lightly rest your fingertips down. We don't want to put all the weight into the hands here. Squeeze your right thigh so your right knee lifts. Chin in toward the throat. Chest pulling forward and up slightly. Back is still flat, not arching your back. So building a lot of strength here, but also working into your hips. And then next inhale, reach your left arm up. Twist, keep your hips the same. Keep driving down through your left hip. Make sure that the left hip doesn't come up. Make sure your hips don't go out to the left, but they stay right in the middle. As you inhale, top of the head presses forward, spine gets longer. As you exhale, squeeze the left arm back.
and then release that hand down. Reach your arms up into a high lunge. Stand up all the way. Bring your feet together, toes touch. Inhale the arms up. Exhale and fold. Look behind you. Little forward fold here. Try to engage your hip flexors and your lower abs here. Protect your spine. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale and fold. Step your left foot back. Point it out 45 degrees. We're into a warrior one. Squeeze your legs toward one another. Lift your arms up. Shoulders relax. Drive down through your right foot. And then bring your hands behind your neck. Inhale, get ready. As you exhale, twist toward your right. Inhale back to the middle. Exhale, twist. Back to the middle, five total of these twists. All right, and then stand back up. Hands at your side. Inhale up, reach your arms overhead. Exhale. Lower your hands down, step your right leg to the back, point it out 45 degrees, knee over the ankle and the left foot, coming up into a warrior one, other side. Allow your hips to lead the lunge, all right? So don't lead with your shoulders here. Allow your hips to go first. Keep the shoulders above the hips. Bring your hands behind your neck, interlace the fingers. Inhale to get ready, pull your chin in toward your throat, pressing your head into your hands. Exhale, twist toward the left. Five of these. Maybe going a little bit deeper with every exhale. All right, and then back to the middle. Lower your hands down. Step up all the way, bring your arms overhead. Reach up, reach back. And forward fold, bend your knees, bring your hands, fingertips to the ground, bending the knees as much as you need to. Squeeze your quadriceps, hip flexors, and your core. Half lift, pull forward, get long. Exhale and fold. And we'll take it back to a plank. A Little bit of upper body work here. Top of the head, press this forward. And we're gonna do a 20 second plank here. Make it as intense as you possibly can. Squeeze your hands and your feet toward one another. And then lower down all of the way, flat onto your chest. Take it up into Cobra. Squeeze your legs toward one another. Elbows squeeze back, top of the head presses up and away from your shoulders. Legs squeeze together, knees lift. Five more seconds. And release down. All right, take it back into a down dog. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Make sure that your feet are level. Lock out your arms. Use your shoulders, your forearms, your biceps, your triceps. Make this a full body exercise. High try. Squeeze your legs toward one another. At the same time, try to squeeze your thighs toward your chest. And then allow your hamstrings to open up here. So let that stretch happen. Two more breaths. All right, take it up into a deep squat. Point your toes slightly out. Sit down nice and low. Allow your hips to open up, squeeze your knees out. You should feel stretching through your groin here. Pick your chest up. Lean back so your core is working. And do a couple of twists here. So right elbow inside your right knee, reach your left arm up. Exhale to twist deeper. Inhale to switch sides. Reach your right arm up now. I meant left arm before. Squeeze the arm back. Release down, left arm up, squeeze the left arm back, 
One more to each side. Right arm up, squeeze it back as you exhale. And last one. Left arm, squeeze it back. Release down, and then go ahead and stand up all the way. Squeeze your butt, drive your hips forward. Take it into a warrior two. Point the back foot out, just about 80 degrees, so not all the way out, but almost all the way out. Squeeze your legs toward one another. Allow your hips to sink forward. Extend your arms in opposite directions. Pull the shoulder blades down and back and look straight over your right middle finger here. So make sure you're twisting through your neck. As you exhale, sink into it. Lead with your hips, not with your shoulders. And then take it into side angle, right wrist inside your knee, left arm up. We're gonna twist here, bring your left hand to your left lower back and then roll back your left shoulder so you're twisting. As you exhale, twist deeper. As you inhale, get longer through your spine. One more breath. All right. And then go ahead and stand up. Step your left foot up. Switch sides. Right leg comes back. Again, point it out. Not quite 90 degrees, but almost there. Reach your tailbone down. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your legs toward one another. Allow your hips to lead. Knee over the ankle and the front foot. Arms come out, look straight over your left middle finger now. Breathing in and out of your nose. Get set here, get ready in the warrior two. We're gonna be moving on, but we're gonna keep the exact same positioning with our lower body. And then side angle, left wrist inside the left knee. Right arm comes up initially, get nice and long. Bring your right hand to your right lower back. As you inhale, get longer through your spine. As you exhale, twist deeper. Three more breaths there. All right, and then we're up. Step your right foot up to meet your left foot. Back to standing. Inhale your arms up. Exhale and fold. Half lift. Forward fold. And then take it into a chair pose. Sit your hips down as low as you can go. Reach your arms up. Bring your left elbow outside your right knee. Twist here and working on using your core strength to twist here, not just cranking open your spine with your elbow to knee, but actually lengthening with your head and then rolling back the right shoulder, squeezing your abs. Switch sides, forward fold. Take it back to chair, arms up. Right elbow to the left knee now, hands together. Again, making sure that you're Inhaling to get longer, and as you exhale, squeezing your abs, twisting, using your core strength, not just cracking open your spine with your elbow. One more breath. And then forward fold, release, look behind you. All right, sit your hips down, pull your chest forward, lift all the way up, and release down. Tron, Kaya. Come here, Tron. Tron, come here. Tron, come here. Come on. All right. And that's our workout. So thanks for joining. Uh, that was, uh, again, warrior twist. So just a quick little flow, working on spine, working on your hips, lots of warrior poses, lots of twists, full body, nice little energizing morning or flow. Use it in the morning, use it in the afternoon if you need a quick energy boost, or if you're just spine or your back or your hips are just feeling a little stiff, this is a really nice thing for that. Um, thanks for being part of the members area if you're watching it from there. And make sure to leave a comment, help inspire somebody else to do a workout below, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys on some of the other workouts. Bye.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that workout. Hope you learned something new. Uh, try to make these workouts very helpful in terms of technique, in terms of learning how to properly engage muscles and build strength with yoga. If you're looking for more workouts, I encourage you to check out the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure I have over a thousand. Uh, and if you want more, if you're looking for an organized program to get started, I highly recommend checking out the Manflow Yoga members area. It's just $1 to get started with a seven day trial. So thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to like this video if you liked any of it. It's really helpful. And I hope to see you on future videos.